Welcome to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Rhonda Anderson at the Moscone Center in San Francisco with a breaking news update. Our new guidelines for the treatment of high cholesterol appropriate for people with type 2 diabetes? Experts are debating this topic this week at the scientific sessions. The guidelines in question were issued jointly by the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association in November 2013. Previous recommendations for treating people with high cholesterol were based on LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol. People whose cholesterol hit certain levels were asked to change their diets, and if that didn't work, statin therapy was recommended. Statins are a class of drugs used to lower, lower cholesterol, which can help prevent heart disease and stroke. The new guidelines recommend statins for four groups of patients. People with cardiovascular disease, people with LDL cholesterol levels higher than 190 milligrams per deciliter, people with diabetes aged 40 to 75 with LDL cholesterol levels between 70 and 189 milligrams per deciliter, or people without diabetes or cardiovascular disease with LDL cholesterol levels between 70 and 189 milligrams per deciliter, whose estimated 10-year risk of cardiovascular disease is greater than 7.5%. There are no specific targets for lowering cholesterol. The new guidelines only recommend that statins should be taken to take care of it. Now, under the new guidelines, the vast majority of people with type 2 diabetes would be recommended for statin therapy. But is that really the right call? Those in favor of this say almost all people with diabetes should be on a statin because that's what research tells us is best. But experts who question the guidelines believe research is being interpreted much too narrowly. Yes, it's important to examine a person's risk for cardiovascular disease as well as their cholesterol level when deciding whether to prescribe a statin. But they disagree with the removal of the target LDL cholesterol goals once someone is being treated. The new guidelines also lack recommendations about additional or alternative strategies for people who are unable to take statins or do not respond well to them. Either way, there will be exceptions that require physicians to just have to make a judgment call. The American Diabetes Association recommends that people with diabetes keep LDL levels at or below 100 milligrams per deciliter or under 70 if they also have heart disease. And the association recommends using high dose statin therapy to reach those goals. If you have diabetes and you're concerned about your cholesterol, talk to your doctor. Ask them about how often you should be checked, what levels you should aim for, and what treatments you can help you get there. I'm Rhonda Anderson, and this has been another breaking update from the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions. To view this press release online, please visit our newsroom section of our website, diabetes.org. And for the latest update and coverage on diabetes research, visit diabetes.org slash breaking news.